who came under fire for the use of the N word. Mm. Uh, you've apologised profusely uh, since explaining there was a misunderstanding of referring to the way language was mm. used in the past. I wasn't only referring to that, and I also resent the fact that, that even that has been simplified. Well, I want to I'll tell you what, I'll about tell you, I'll what I'll you think the outcry says about the way... No, I, I, would like to, I would like to say that the, what, how it's been explained, that I was simply saying that that word's not used anymore, that's not what I was saying. Okay? What I was saying was that just because people don't say that word anymore, it doesn't mean that they don't still harbor discrimination, racism inside themselves. Um, what I was talking about earlier, that racism, discrimination, tends to evolve, changes its vocabulary, its face. But that doesn't mean that it has disappeared and that it, we always need to be on guard. That's what I was saying, the full context. And one person tweeted, I said that word, and the room went silent. The room did not go silent, first of all, and that was, there was no context given. And I think that that's regrettable. I think it's a serious thing to throw around. To accuse someone of being racist without giving a context of what they were talking about, is not only unfair to me, but I think it's, it's, it's damaging to social discourse. I was, as, as the people who were in the room know, including Mahershala Ali and Peter Farrelly, the context in which I used the word, which is shocking to people still, especially coming from a white person, was to talk about the need for each generation to continue working because it does not disappear. It's something we always have to be wary of. That's what I was talking about.